As you can see, I'm elbow deep in turbochargers. These turbos are off a 603 engine. Um, I pulled one of these just yesterday off my own 300 SDL, and it wasn't as easy as a 617 turbo. Um, you can look down in the engine bay, there's, there's a lot less access to this turbo, and we ended up having to lift uh, the entire turbo unit out of the car. There was no way that we could just remove the turbo from the turbine housing. Nope, the whole thing had to come out. So we've got it on the workbench, and I've started to do some investigative work. In the past, we've had a lot of requests for turbo overhaul kits for the 60X engines. That include the 603 and the 602. And we're having a very hard time uh, sourcing parts. You know, there's some companies say, well, there's no repair parts available for the 602 turbo, and you can get this, you can't get this. So there's com conflicting, uh, you know, information out there. You have to remember, these turbos were built by Garrett, a U.S. company. So it's not like Mercedes-Benz has this information. Uh, Garrett has the information. So we're going to do some work to try to come up with a DIY kit so that you can overhaul uh, these turbos yourself. The first thing we learned from taking apart one turbo was that the guts or the, all the inside the parts, the ceiling rings, the bearings, the thrust washers, they're all the same. This is a T3 turbo, but it is modified. They do have a different turbine wheel and shaft. Uh, it's a little bit smaller diameter, which is kind of surprising. You think, well, with a six-cylinder engine, you'd have a bigger diameter turbine wheel, but not so on this engine. Also, there's a slight modification of the compressor wheel that you see here over the 617 engine. And so it's going to be a little tricky to try to find those parts. I do have to work on a new set of instructions because the difficulty of getting the whole turbo out of the cars is a little bit challenging unless you've done quite a bit of uh, mechanical work before. This is not a beginner DIY job by any means. There, there was one thing I found really interesting on this 603 turbo here. This is one I bought used. And when we opened it up, we found a lot of rust inside the aft section or the hot section of the turbo. When I pulled the turbine wheel and shaft out, this area right behind the ceiling ring was heavily pitted. I mean, we're talking deep pits of corrosion. And, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, how in the world did all this? There was also a lot of pitting, a lot of severe pitting on the back section of this housing. So somehow water was getting in there. I suspect this is just my... Uh, deduction. You know, the 603 engines are known for a weakness in the cylinder head. You know, the cylinder heads can crack at some of the journals and it could, could have been leaking coolant, a very slow leak, into the exhaust ports. And then, of course, that coolant or steam was getting down in to the turbine section of the turbocharger and over time caused a lot of corrosion. So we're getting ready now to open up my turbo and to see what this one looks like on the inside. So this is an introductory video to what we're working on. Now when we get further along, we'll post part two on YouTube and keep you abreast of our progress as we try to come up with a good kit for overhauling these turbos.